<laughs> what is up everyone? My name is Brenner and welcome to my channel. This is Mr. Liquor Sipper. Today we're doing a review over what the flippin' Forester. Old Forester 1870 is up to bat today. We're not gonna get too crazy because we've done the 1910, we've done the 1920, we've done, <laughs> I can't even remember, uh, the 1897, the Old Forester original, the, the, the flagship. I mean, we've done everything when it comes to Old Forester. So this bottle here, the 1870, comes in a classification of straight bourbon whiskey. Company comes from Brown Foreman Distillery, Brown Foreman Shively, um, not to be confused with Shipley Donuts, Shively Distillery, released uh, in uh, February 2015. The proof comes at a 90. Uh, alleged years between four to four and a half years under a heat cycle. The mash bill is said to be 72% corn, 18% rye and then 10% malted barley. The color is a beautiful copper color that you can actually make a lot of apparently a lot, a lot of money from on the black market. So if you're in the market for copper, this would be the place to go to. 1870 Old Forester Whiskey. MSRP can run you anywhere between $50 to $60 as of 2022. So if you watch this video in 2027 and it's $80 then because of inflation and the whirlwind of fuck that has gone on and the government and conspiracies and with Alex Jones getting probed by aliens and getting boned over by Kanye West, then things may have changed. One thing I can say is I am not an advocate of Old Forester, but I am an advocate of Old Forester. What does that mean? It means I'm not getting paid for this Old Forester review, but what I can tell you is probably going to be a staple in any person's man or woman or child that's illegally drinking, drinking, drinking under the table, under the bar. Um, this is something that should be on your shelf. Uh, all joking aside, this is something that you should have on your shelf. As far as Old Forester, the 1870, I can't speak for yet, which we're about to find out. So let me bring out my handy dandy knife. All righty. Uh-oh, don't cut yourself open here. All right, so. We'll go ahead and let's just get straight to it here. Dude, this is a good thing to like. Go in here and you just like scoop a booger out. All right, especially if you're in a dry climate like me for now in good old New Foxico as I call it. Not quite Mexico, not quite America, not quite new but not quite old, not quite anything. It's just where people go to get fucked. Over. Oh shit, wait a minute. Got this here. So, ooh, this thing cuts through nicely. All right, here we are. As we do, we never know what anything tastes like. This is my very first time tasting Old Forester 1870. I came across it, also was uh, noted to somebody that had told me that there is actually an Old Forester rye, which in some respects I'm not surprised, but I am surprised that I had never heard of an Old Forester rye. So that will be in future videos because I have not gotten that yet, um, but a friend of mine who has family out in Old Forester, he's gonna be going there to visit here shortly and he will be picking me up a bottle, which you can find for roughly $25 if you are interested and you have not tried it nor heard of it. Now. On to everyone's favorite time of the video! It's nosing for Trumpies! Folks, this is going to be the most magnificent, fabulous type of whiskey you've ever had. I promise, I guarantee it. I'm touching myself under the table right now. Wait, let's see. You guys can hear me speak, but can you smell me speak? Sniff it, sniff it. That's where the microphone's at if you haven't caught on yet. And this smells like a three-day hangover, baby. This smells like solitary confinement with a guy named Louis Brown Eye. Smells like an overshared makeshift prison pocket pussy. Also get weird odd elements for those out there that are all those creepy ass bird watchers. Smells like flamingo shit. 
Is a bird considered a bird or is it considered a dinosaur since they are a descendant of a dinosaur? It also smells like a trash can full of waxed ass hair. No idea where I come up with this. Oh, what does it really smell like, oh brown eye? Well, brown eye, let's tell brown eye what it smells like. It has a very bright liveliness that comes along with this. It's a uh, fruity yet floral. Not quite fruit loom, but not quite fruit loop, if you will. But it does have a fruitiness to it. Um, I, I do have a uh, sense of uh, a fruity combination that's in here. The floral is nice and awakening. It's, um, you know, some of these um, whiskeys and bourbons that do come out, they have a darkness about them that has like a nice subtle chill. This seems like something that's a little bit more exciting. It has a vanilla caramel that's always uh, that's always in there, and a delightful amount of oak that seems to kind of balance everything out, but you never know until you know after you sip. So let's go. Already I can tell you. Sipper or skipper straight off the top. This is a sipper. The smoothness doesn't even come across as a 90 proof. I feel like I just sipped on something that was an 80 proof, to be honest with you. This 1870 at a 90 proof. Um, for the longest of times, this 1897, has been one of my favorite Old Foresters. Um, before that, it was a real fight dependent on the day, if it was gonna be the 1910 or the 1920. This is a constant. This guy never misses. Old Forester, you old fucking fart, you are a son of a bitch, and I can't find anything that you can do wrong. The taste matches the nosing profile. Uh, it tastes like it smells. It's very delightful. It's uh, a, a mingling and vibrant fruit amongst multiple different fruits that you get in here. And I think that the sweetness is what carries over with the oak that provides that smooth, nice taste that comes across. If you are a middle of the road person, then this is going to be a nearly a perfect whiskey for you because I would rate this on a cracked Glen Karen scale on my own sip -a meter of a 4.5 out of 5. Probably, let's just go ahead and take a sip and check it again. Honestly, I can't find anything, anything wrong with it. I would say this is a 4.8. This is this is actually amazing, especially for what you're getting. Dude, Old Forester might be my favorite uh, whiskey right now. I'm not, I'm not saying it, can, it can't change because a couple of times ago, I was really enjoying Walking Stick. You can go back uh, and check that video out. Um, everything that you taste is everything that you smell with this. So it's kind of like, you know, those people that are assholes are really nice people. One or the other, kind of like what you see is what you get with this. Um, there's nothing captivating about the outside of it. Y you could easily walk right past this and not even know that you were passing a decent bottle of, uh, of bourbon here. So fun fact, 1870 original batch is also blended by Marianne Barnes, the protege of Brown Foreman's master distiller, Chris Morris. Um, and it's also said this would make the 1870 bottle here the first bourbon from a major producer blended by a woman in the modern era. So that is pretty cool. As we know, um, females do have to or tend to have a better scent or nosing um, acknowledgement when it comes to, well, when it comes to period. You ever walk into a room and they're like, it smells like cat piss in here. What is that? And you're like, I don't, I don't smell that. Let's just be real here. This is a good whiskey. Should you buy it? F and A, F and yes. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for everyone that has supported this channel. If you haven't yet, like and subscribe so we can multiply and divide. Tell your friends, tell your homies, tell your enemies, tell your lawyers, tell your doctors all about Mr. Liquor Sipper because we know only the sophisticated like to sip on the whisk, like to sip on the bourbon and drown all your burdens. You know how we do here, so don't forget to tell all your friends, everyone. Um, I'd like to say thank you to everyone that already has, which has produced us on multiple different forums and, uh, 
and lists that have acknowledged this channel uh, to be at least within the top 30 uh, out of 100 or 50 um, or out of 21 because I was on a top 21 list. So thank you to everyone. I appreciate you guys. And until next time, cheers and keep on sipping.